In the last few years, we have been able to get a star for the glam. We have been able to get a star for the religious sunslinge. We have been able to get a star for the glam. We have been able to get a star for the glam. And we have been able to get a star for the glam. I don't want to see it. Listen to Crick. Be in she the cousin or Nairacht. I go in a tochet and I say Fisru. Boa, as Krimsche a vi an shen. Naha, sa. An kied kaun o hitam limli. And I say Quinnall an tola slan dun hied loi nele. Information has been given regarding the murder of John Linnan. Is a tear honel come they run and all? An arch is most a tear a looter less and slinger or donal in you. Schlocht kennel connel, a healrian or ordrin a heron, a goose and coigu hish. An tiachten shaw is he hanany honel at high dollar ashter sheer so stair, huntilla oilamach, finis linger. Is galoire ear heme e hanna, a gen of stadier lanny less a coliot, agus gailge. Tá mé gur iad cruinn hí a mhobhar, so más mó inniu ar terapi alian la pwéisí. Alian tarí mo a hé, agus tá an gardhín in shaw ag maher, so tá sé daily gan an spraadhaill. An shaw i glúin na dár, in aice spraad vailí a cúis farga am all harí, er chósta hír húi húm an all, a tógu hana, agus tá sé ar bís i másc na plándi agus blána. Tá cibniarim nár bhí mac cuig bíonn díis. Hanik should make less a grand shot, I guess, and then the magic or shall quick lenation, how she should um a cool girl and chat grand shot do. Is he the blah and August plan this shot? See her a higher. Gary at hard jarre ega. A also the Ganila he ein kosh farge. Anjem kajo gela ton so ner tama har jar tesik dini gua ma seren eges in shen ner tama ing ajev tesik dini gua ma sher honol mar gua klihu gus kajer anjem odono tama giri elama kek tevek eges a vi nadali eges an stonya odono ta steir tevek talish ta spesh war eg hana en ayrach ta muinsira ovi shiog. Togu is a shan tia ha chiani a shan a her treish do fila on klandike. Agus ta leawr biog fwyn glan ag a hair a chor gwi leis le chiela fwy star an tiailoch si gyantar. It says here brief history from Cash and the Gore, but I didn't realise, I thought we were based in Falkara. No, no, originally Cash and the Gore and before that it was Glen Vey. And there's not a lot of information about the family before Glen Vey, but they were evicted and they w went to Proclish, which is at the foot of Erigal. The O'Donnell name is quite popular, especially in Donegal, and there's a lot of history behind it, as we know. Well, I suppose you have to think it wasn't known as O'Donnell, it was O'Donnell. O means descendant of Donal. But we can trace back, because we're called the Dali, you know that there's a certain lineage that there was Dala, and then there was Donal, and then there was O'Donnell. Okay. So that's the lineage that we have come from. But the O'Donnell name stuck then, that was... That was it, yeah. And the O'Donnells are to be found all over the planet, you know, and some very famous O'Donnells. But um, I think it's, uh, it's a real proper Donegal name. Yeah, I'll have a good time finding out about it. I hope so. It'll be well worth it, for sure. Le holus fight egg hana fui na glan fein on the higher. Tashi egg dol go balia ha clear. Le nis mo a oila mach fui star an slinge o nolago morile. Agus fui care to ta brakishis e lauer na ninila fui. Kajin bunche tega nyors sha la slanchi. I never saw the learning in the. It's French war, Irish, a French in the head, and I never saw. Tiny small, then a French is included. The learning show, now I mean, while I'm going to look at the dialogue, and to be on the middle, learning is so one large screen. Agus tan tower brutish jahan agus tar sinagran shoch arinus agus akolumach fihiblianohin ta 
an Larskriven, not Vechen Rower Fad, a Hoyche, Koi Gimior, Don Kinalsha, Lene Lene Hore Glow. And is Steve did a mon cup and shaw. Guji, well, so new is Jagger Hortage and Scale Inch Jagger, a manager Francesa, one and all, a renewing upper, and Shin Tigo or Ball. Grown and one of her shin cut a free hush, Ignasas and the Eganam shin, Davishin, Kahigar and Archella, a renewal, Agas and Rod, a Jeremy Hollow Cleary Hain, Grushia Gober, Kush Drosh, Shin Owen the Drosh, Owen Vyog, a Hain Shasta Warrigay, Imagun and all, a Tashijir Heron Chorden, Iger, um, Kundalitrama. Tivo yas agus kundagun ng all agus in keshwa kiaku tiv ganaun erinyarnuwe and ish jer na konale kinche gori nyeshkrito gun ng all in akile bundoran eskrivwe bi skolari morele and tarakanya humuini basliet mago marahorla agus bi sheshin galaji gan tuim gararun tivel ganaun erhivliet mago erinyue and idolim gor kruhio gakinche. Kiaku Jibi Vikart, Braham Hingram Bejigum Gormo and Shansker Erhiv, who now are in Akne Bondoran, a scribe Ach Ni Nikos Nariga there. And Lutcher Muncher Ronalam. Lutcher, Gujivan, Agus Tossin She, Le Clam, Agus Kinel, Hunnel Gullabun, Marhogan Jorho, Agus and Chin, Tapisa da Shan Star, Axin, Lanche Shah, Er, Kinel, Egon, Hira Hunnel. Marhogan Jorho, Agustin She, E. Eerle Hir Connell, Mac Rudy, Eerle Cheer Connell, Yar Raher, E. Rua Edirk Egonel, Shin E. Rua Shinafar, a full boss of Spain, Hitchcock and Toyle, Agus Mac Le Rudy, E. Eerle Hir Connell, Shin Buchlog, a V. Kiwanit Hogit Eschen, Tossian Cheshin, and Ginnelach, Maratoshe, Egg, Egg and Dualtach. So Takorshis and Chinagas Chenche, Sheer, Sheer, Fui Guji, E do O'Donnell, Mach E and Hed E Rua, Mach Le Neil Garav, Dar Yervratre, Nyachton Donnell, E Girach, E Nyahan Donacha, Nakale. Agus, Lennon Shay, Arai, Mershin, Sheer, 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 Guji, Enyahan, Dinner and Jam Owner, Hilary, Clondali, a full boss, Sabine, Milagoyet, shocked. So Ta, Kerry Kid Blian, Gustad, Clondali, and Jin, Egge, Sidor. Egis Rose, Slinchy, Omagoni, Kahetcha Hanako, Donuas. Well, we Hussey Slinche in Eden Hart Fuin Jehuish, Ach and Donal on a on a Donnick and Slinche, Clan Dolly, Shin Tagan Shin O Erder Banam Dolach, a full boss, Sibian, Ocht Gied, Shaskish, Shaska Hocht, Agus is why a Hanik and Tanim Chowish, Clan Dolly, who saw her Hillian, Clan Egon and Lachter, Clan Dolly, we Makege Enyahan. Aher Gonal, so Garwak le shoot Donal, agus es why shoot a Hanik and Sunya or Donal. So shin shin mara Hanik she igest agus why shin ma or Donal shin anim an chowchish no anim an chayli a vien a dishi er hir Gonal er fa keri ked blien. A rashinu nangal togan hana court er vanister ho nangal. Aglish Prunchiasach, a hogan ri hlochti honu san kuigu hish tjeg. Vi klani honu mar fatrun dana Prunchiasi sa vanishter sha, agus mar fatrun dana haliana, litriacht, agus benefish religionda. Ba e an hied e rua o donel, canra trevi honu legan am, a voni an vanishter sa vlian mile keri hied agus shaske kahar. Ba e a harwak shud er hane klu agus koile er in iishin. Ta hana an sha le bula le shan stari, Seamus O'Darty. Be careful of your head here because it's quite low. Because of so many graves, etc., that were dug here, the actual earth has risen by about five feet, so you can see it's a bit low there. So the abbey is really about five foot below what you see. We're now here in the centre of the abbey of Donegal. Who was it who founded it? What was their reasoning behind it? Well, 
The O'Donnells around the 15th century, that's about 1460 or whatever, were at their zenith. And we had a guy called uh, A. Ru O'Donnell, the first A. Ru O'Donnell. He came to power around 1450. And what A. Ru was looking for was prestige. And the way that was done in those days was to have your own friary, have your own church. Most of them were actually buried up here under that high altar, including A. Ru. It was where all the O'Donnells are actually buried. And how did the friary run under the reign of the O'Donnells? Well, they did really, really well. It started off as they thought it was going to be a very small monastery, but because of the diplomatic relations that the O'Donnells had with the Spanish and with the French, they had a lot of dignitaries coming here. At one point, it was noted in the Islands of the Four Masters that there was actually 40 friars here. There were 30 sets of vestments and something like 20 gold chalices. Whoa. So under the O'Donnell rule, um, this abbey flourished. Elizabeth was in power. She wanted to finally conquer the two great houses of Ulster, the O'Neills and the O'Donnells. So she sent over 10,000 men under the Earl of Essex. She also sent a fleet under a man called Dochra, General Dochra, into Loch Foyle. And they came down through Lifford, took over the castle belonging to O'Donnell and Lifford, and came down to this very abbey. The monks had to flee. There was about 30 monks there at the time. And the reason he was able to do it was O'Donnell was in Connacht. He was down preparing for the Spanish Armada. And when he heard about the abbey being taken over, his beloved abbey, he immediately took his troops and came back and laid siege to the abbey. On October, all changed because the Spanish had arrived in Kinsale. O'Neill sent word to O'Donnell. He was marching his army now to Kinsale and he wanted O'Donnell to join him. So the two armies met around Ballyshannon and headed for Kinsale. Kyle e Rua O'Donnell, Ka Kion Talia, Agus Hushigadi on Spine, so after Kinsale, Reg Hu put Rory, his brother, his trusted brother, in charge of his army. However, within a year, he was told that his brother had been killed in, in Spain, had died in Spain. The word is that he was actually poisoned by a guy called James Blake, who was an English spy. Rory was now left on his own. And knowing that he had no chance of beating the English without Spanish help, he sued for peace. He would give over the lands, as was a custom at the time, to the king, and the king would give it back at his pleasure. And for that, then, he would he pay the royalties, etc. So the English were very determined to get rid of anything that had to do with the Irish, the old Irish nobility. So um, eventually, they were accused of plotting against the king, that is O'Donnell and O'Neill. They got word of this and they decided it's time to go. They packed their belongings, they hired a ship to go from Rathmullen and off they went to Spain. That particular period is known as the Flight of the Earls, and it was the last time that we had the Irish nobility, the Northern Irish nobility. After that, the people were left to their own devices, they were defenceless, and the English moved in, and the plantation of Ulster began. Wow, so the O'Donnells had great importance then. Of in the course Irish. they, yes, of course they did. They were, like, without the O'Donnells, we would not have had the Abbey of Donegal. Without the Abbey of Donegal, we would have not had the Four Masters. Without the Four Masters, we would not have the history of Ireland. And without the history of Ireland, we would have not been able to prove who we were as a, as a, a distinct nation with kings that ruled us our own laws and our own culture. So they were extremely important to the history of Ireland. Wow. Ta Seamus ag eri an tóid beluachfara a bhí ag mwyntari ghonol, cian as seacht a bhí ag seilad na clinia a hosbainti. Agus tein siad sús an bóhar go cuislán hún na ngá, a ta siadja ar vrúch awan na heisg. So who was it that built the castle and when? Well, the original castle was built in 1474, the same year as the abbey was built. The O'Donnells, who had been living in Ballyshannon at the time, they moved to Donegal. They felt it was more of a centre because they were now all in control of Tyrconnell. A Rua, who was the son of A Du O'Donnell, he built the castle in 1474. This is a replica of Donegal Castle. You can see here the shield of the O'Donnells behind. Mm -hmm. We've got the fortifications, we've got the, the old keep as it was before the manor house was built. Who was it who lived here? Well, so all of the O'Donnell chieftains lived here right throughout the years from the time of 1474, okay? okay? Right down until 1601, after the Battle of Kinsale. So at that point, they had to abandon. 
the castle because the English were now coming in oh. and are ready st and starting the plantation of Ulster. So after Kinsale, they lost their castle. So the castle at that stage was mostly destroyed because the mother of Red Hugh had actually burnt it down rather than get into the hands of the English. Ta hanani honler ashter ig folum fui star slenye ag sarash leg a balya a clear khun fekhan der anala na gera mostri anala na gera mostri is lower more lower minch more atan and when korsis are star na herden o husama kuji and vin shejig is shejig ta dushin balya han more wala han anala agan sugailge rodino sonala ola uh, and all uh, in Shafatlan and all the Connacht that is Marshindo, Agus, and Canis Moji were fad and all the Niganamostri. We fidden I Agor Lechel and our governor who Tigor Fai Wadgar Kater Moistri Murtogorho, we guest Tasaganishkaro Sheshari guest or fad, and then a Bahok to give Father Banim Mihalo Clary no Brahir, a Brahir Bok Mihalo Clary Murhok Sherhain, Brahir Princess of Vian, Sor Skaloida, as Jeskas Kunangal. Kin says our town at the Nahanya Hagas Nashkiati. Gahajan Tower Tossi is no Tigara, Harvegar, Gminic, Lucher, Gurkalu, Elihicho, the Winner, Agus Dota, Action Made Nijatra Kerwehe, no car can talk to one Nish, and Shin Ta Stra Ele Kuj Tossi, Agashil Tan, Ahinchinch Eren, Seher Udar, Doctor Nyargoala, Yargoala Eren, Kinal Breg Star. Breg rave star in the Herden and can fui clan a mila, Agus Natuha Jadan and Agus Nafir Warag, Agus Mersindo, Agus Scale, Scale to Simula Granwar of Minic, Ach Nilian talked to your Mersar, Shinta Kushi Ser, Forik, Chaka Herden, Agus and Christiak, Agus Mersindo, Kaito Gulguji, Lor Namanisha, Sulla Swin to. Uh, ish na stadium or a jar of a gart. So it's funche into a tan a kaifer e usage kokurma. Pa auron few at a bonahe or scale e rua odonil. Cosson Hanelish and Gyoldor Finbar Clancy on a scale of flesh toil for O'Donnell Boo. So tell me about the song O'Donnell of You. Who originally wrote it? O'Donnell Abu started off as a poem that was written by Michael Joseph McCann in 1843. He was a teacher, he was a poet, he was a young Irelander, and he was also a journalist. So it appeared in the Nation uh, newspaper under the poem, uh, the Clan Connell War Song. And it became very popular with young Irelanders at the time and became a rally call I suppose for that party at the time. Even though uh, Michael Joseph McCann wrote the poem, the music was actually uh, written years before in 1803 by a man from the same town as myself, Carrick and Shore County Tipperary, and his name was Joseph Halliday, and he was a band leader in the town, and uh, he came up with the air for that in 1803. And how do we know it today? I suppose today, how I personally would know it was that my uncle's recorded the song for the first time. Um, the Clancy Brothers and Tommy Makem recorded the song in 1956 in an apartment in the Bronx in New York on their very first album, which was uh, Songs of Irish Rebellion. And that was one of the songs that they, that they put on that album because they thought it was a very, very important song, which it was. And the fact that the melody was written by a fellow Carrick and Shore man, it seems to have come full circle, that here we have this this new folk band that are popularizing uh, Irish folk songs to a new audience in America uh, with a song that was written by somebody from the same town. Yeah, they were genuine and proud. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it seems to come full circle. And was there any reason they chose to sing that song? It was an extremely popular Republican song and it very nearly became the Irish national anthem. It came a close second to a Ron Levine wow. uh, on a vote as to choose an Irish national anthem. So it seemed, uh, maybe because it wasn't made the national anthem of Ireland that they thought it was shortchanged somehow. 
And just how close was it to being chosen for the Irish National Anthem? That's a very good question. I think, uh, to put it in context, it, it's such an important, uh, Red Hugh O'Donnell was such an important character in Irish history because he was the last Gaelic chieftain really to rally Ireland and he did free Ireland with the help of uh, Hugh O'Neill and Hugh Maguire and the Nine Years' War which resulted uh, in the flight of the Earls in 1607 but he had achieved freedom from Ireland effectively against uh, Elizabethan rule and it took 350 years for Ireland to get independence after it but it was the, it was the end of Brehan law in Ireland it was the end of the ruling of the uh, Gaelic chieftains in Ireland and it was a new order but it came incredibly close to freeing Ireland hundreds of years before we actually got it. So interesting. So yeah. I think it's well uh, worthy of being the Irish National Anthem and merit of that alone. As a musician yourself, how do you feel about the song? Do you enjoy playing it? I love playing the song. Uh, there's a number of songs that you enjoy playing because a lot of Irish songs they say that history was the propaganda of the victors but that the real stories in the songs from the people themselves and it tells a much more accurate history and I think this is the case. It tells the history right there in the song of the events that happened that unfolded in Ireland which were so important at the time and also the music marries perfectly as well because the music is very passionate to go along with those great words. And any chance of you playing a sorry tune of it? It just so happens I uh, had an opportunity at the very end of the Clancy Brothers' career. My father was also in the Clancy Brothers. His name was Bobby Clancy. And when I was in my mid-twenties, I had the opportunity to tour with the Clancy Brothers for a couple of years, and we performed uh, O'Donnell Abu on stage. Okay. It has been 25 years since I sang it, but I'm willing to give it a blast. I'll and, give it a go. Uh, I'll give, yeah, <laughs> sing an old verse. Oh, great. For all time's sake. Proudly the note of the trumpet is sounding, loudly the war cries arise on the gale. Fleetly the steed by lock, Squilly is bounding to join the thick squadrons and same as green pale. On every mountain near, strangers to flight to fear, rush to the standard of dauntless red hue. Bonnet and gallow glass, drawn from each mountain pass, onward for here in O'Donnell Abu. Ta spesig hana tila oila mach fui dina a tula will an slinya O'Donnell aku, agus tainchi go hoit huchish niel O'Donnell, an farata fragrachas an folklore gweil geberla. Kasan chile Eugene Green. Dinner vi sauce the glockalish and dulon and chaha a hoiru erdus. Kate was a queen you in Shasha, could you change skiella tap on chalash? Change skiella tellus is chasha, change her back, change her go, but your head a head bleeding. I wish on Tudor we listen a togo nil don't let the hairs no harder because in a hula, could you go rush at Jigorosha, Kedja Martin on a jerk? Yellow so gum. Father Biella and Will Grassigid or Jangi, John Lehage, and Yanis Lehage Herod. I guess, you know, and our soul, Gregus Lahanura, from the Vinta Tawata. You know, doing and John Lahanur, go Lehid, go Lehida on like. Shy. We were just in a good wind chella and chella and yellow don, we should in a goni, Raj, but at the Gary Gabi Yanis Cha, John the Rerudlish. You remember an hour. Tajal of Denther, KV Tihirdashan. We may have a good barch, elevator, or two at a cool shunt like. Samajin to have Sastig Dogma Jahan to Sanya. So we mass more than year. We mass more of Shandro the Stawati than Rodalekta, massing and watch your ogre. 
Når vi massager, vi massager en faklor alene. Kan du se den tilfredsstillende gåsje ligge alene nås? Ja, det er sådan en sjældent gåsje, sådan en speciel til. Det er med sig altså da i nås. Kvalt man er bolcher alene, hvis du ikke måtte nyde den, hvis du ikke måtte vandre så meget. Jeg kan sådan tude den magere så godt, så tager jeg det. Når jeg tager den, så er det rådigt. Tagen Liam McAuley, sanjoli folklor at have lånet her manuet, han lærer til hende. Agus Reinen sé a hanolas fín vóclór agus an obar a wanlish. Ha gete vagalas agus manas agus caimar eis gosh aintha sa mul vol ni smo alas agus sa fín na vóclór sha. Is toig gúil? Ha gete vagal chén gúil vóclór ir av láa ve ní a leo vóclór me chana vóclór bair a gael get ve chana o ní dig trúc sa dó an cánis cánis chéanna ar a bhuinte ge hén leis fí sé mar chún tór an chéad vóclór a réitig an stáit. Agus an sin tá an magnum opus o lav nearly hónal hén an fóclar gael gibeirle. Agus ar nó a bíonn gachtan a cúin a bhar sin ca gahaira nôr a chúin an díni ar na hechti fóclarach da aig súla ar a vláiv ag ní a leo. Go fóil bíog úsáitar ar nó an fóclar cloit a sin. Agus an cian dairnach an tia naicilis na an fóclar baug, an fóclar gaelge gaelge, ar o níl agus Paddy Malone, Padraig an Mwéloin, fragrach as. Ta sé an tábach doch mar fi eis sgaile fwy le in san tír sa bra ar oclar gaelge gaelge a vahaka, sa agus fóclar ráhangach. Agus stóral cibid bian a lach sa lan a fóclar sór sgríu? Well, ha an more chéan seo, ha sé beag nag fithe blian. Hosig sé sin a nédiag caig sa mei, nédiag seasca, casa na hí sé sin, agus críag ní uéin o seol a uéi, sa vlí a nédiag seachtú sa hocht. So, mas mui yn tuf fwy sin, yw a saith glúin am a taig eist an sin, gael a fithe blian. Agus, cud jy ala rannia comaila na fóclar seo? So tef am wyd yn obr fóclar ucht agus obr aistr chain sin ar fad, ca sy'n chyd is mw da heil, ag obr mar... Stáit ar físeach, agus físeach gobar sorín leas a hóxílig im lá clíe, agus daibrig sé an sin o iarann a dríach a dí, co fada leis an bíder dair na gaeag a dí, nú ar a fúr sé an post a fáil ar a oclór hén. Cé go bhfuil na fóclór a leagar líne anais? Was a tawach da go bhfuil na cúp na cruaig an go fáil? Well, is dóig a bhfuil, but rúd tawach da fúin fóclór cloit a go hairna na go gortar leawrs i láva an éasóig. Agus mwyni mawr eist ar an fóclor bioog mawr eis am lawr ar y môr nôr ar dyrna meis yn. Tagan pashti sgaile deag ori, tagan siad isnach ar an malach ar feidr leo rudi a hecael a gart an tanga a hecael a gart ca hairde is a pshom ar sgaile nŵg a fiw sa walia maas feidr leo rudi a gint a fioca maak oon shelf feach yn teir ga fysicuil agus da hig ni leo da onal an tafocht a fwyn leis an leis an airocht Tanga sin a hwrt dyn hlwyn ys oige, agos ni doil am gyfeitha cysyn tarlo i gart, mwn amach fael er chwpyn i crua dy ochlor ar byd. Ni le'n awr ysach ar leach y fi yn ilo ddonl, y gos na tanga ac y gos na her na y gwytna. Ni doil am gwyl dyna na e y fi yn an, an tishgint y fwyn leis yn tanga fein y ffosa, le sgrif, agus le hairocht na gailge ins na termi is lehna. Stáit sér víseach a fíon, ag nís múna sin, sér víseach stáit a fíon, a chaha heil a vaha plé le togri eig súle ar waha le leis an tír sá a hefru o hef na gailge de. Agus bichart gamach tír chonl go hairde agus an tér víse stáit a gwytna har a vaha brodúil as a méid aibra a rinne sé ar son na tanga sna blianta sin. Ta hanig tort cort e ran le fereste, le laurt le nyacht nelly ni honel, an taurani mered ni honel, e ge tach sauri se gyanthar. Hai ge jimmer da te? Hai ge mai se heen, got you. Ta sefer a smulch na kyaol a da haile se, ke jean chunker a vig nelly or shen da waral? O vi maj bag buijach, vi maj chacht tarinch an sha a goni a leha sira, Agus yn stoia fi ma dde na'r si y geisdach le nari y ciol, mahar y ciol, agus fi a sog yn stoia na'r hosi ma dde le sgar y bre, agus na'r fi ma dde na'r dde gyri ma sy'n fi ma dde geisdach e ffolym na horan a fi ma dde geisdach lo na'r fi ma dde bag ma'r fi ciol hartar yn 
It's a and but how the agus and what this the cancer free Nelly na grow an erudition store much not more key the oran a gashkelti. Nurvishiog, a Nero Ragna Sula, a Mahiki or you, a gashin Nurvishi Hartfa Taranger Truckle Namashin, Halshi Ragna Sul Omlan. A gashtoya Kenneth Groshin at he. Dan Shishiswala, Lishna Shandini, Agus Shinadoi, Gur Hanakshi, Erna Horan, Agus Gelti, Agus Jerichi the Goni Fui, Agus Jerunelli Linia Fasta, Damo Simaki in Horan, Agus Marof, Simaki in Safon, Jerichi Er Kabi of Yakol, E Yenu, Uruanella, Agus Jigre, Vowan Thoraneki. It's come a Kaved Varsi of Owen, so a Stoyan Nunahro Ragna Suleki, Vishi Gaschet, Agus Pakshi Susno de Shalig. Agus Rodella Inta Tawata for the Vishi Vishi special to my Kletchel. Hocklinelli, Betcher Ganzi and Own Shacht and the Wen, Agus Vichy Kyol, Agus Vichy Kletchel. Agus their house would any be in Wattage? We lug and the Roshin do, I guess be my cure go fall, I guess she'll go to special tickets and fun of the Eki, I guess lug and Galantaki the Monish and the Bulia, I guess our noy, eh, Nervine Bathy Band of Gal, do some, or in Castle, do you love an apple, and the Heathery Hills of Yarrow, and when I was a fair maid, Hanak Nahor and Shahalik, oh Nelly. Oh, wow. She. So I to the garden and saw saw Granny Gus Granger, Maggie Connell, Gus Mickey Hudi, Gus Shin Ara Gus Mahar Nelly, Gus and Shin Shin Mahar and Shin Gus a a tafudu Erin Shana Edifon, Gus who is in saw saw Connell Oni Gus Nelly, Granny Gus Granger Nelly. Wow, Shan packed her attention and she. We Mahar. A balu skelti agus oran hartfar an fhairst agus ilan hari sna trochadi gal hartle edafon. So we mujine we kiol hartar an ilig. And shin kegoblin an ye mahar va balu hanik mihal sogan ye ischa visha gober le Brendan Brannock malyklia agus hanik she an shaw le balu agus. Dancha meal and Ellie, I guess, be heart for kid, 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 PC, egg, and the year. So we store in top more key. I guess she didn't rather a tarant egg, Jeroa Hill, Higshi, and Rother Vieki. I guess we should get a air heart doing. So store here, and I look the small a dag Nelly, na Gul Mucherog, Gul Mojinia, Gulahania. A cold the horn, go will and value can a v a renew a mahar, I guess, and value can a renew Michal Sogonia, a stee in a body clear in UCD, I guess, than value can faster the hutch cure stee in itma, I guess, Higladini Galasha, the yoga Galasha, then you are for the dawn. Higlo Galarlina nish agus na horan sa eischaklo agus idvaku. So stoi go shina na irak tis mo finali tafwakiki. Iskaloire ir chema i hana ni honel in oldskol nagaljeve. Agus dar nôi mar ein le galore le, tá tahi na mliant a ecir bus fida o donu le na malach a ian a vrash gdi an olscoil. Tá an slinia kena a cubert, agus fáin si a mach go il rintua olish ag brian. Well, tens lonye kier in the gatein. Well, more and all is a good er doinche. Well, tesegum gol meshe mar an kuikuglun da i gonel klani gonel ye an an kuikuglun er an odas luir on the farshe as meshe brian fida brainy gonai fadi hening o klani gonel ye lig. Tam makugum gol kilaner 
Kilano donor, so Shin Shailu in the Fasha, the Wallace of Kerbe, Tasha Tekigum, Gulmuch Monchra, and Ked Clani only Hanekar on the Fasha as Cantor, Ken Hasla, no Alja Horang, Mar Higim, I guess, as ever broach, do so, Manium, Kenneth School of Stair, Bonchelish, I guess, at her. So, Katia Hoshishiv and Kolak Shakin spreak of you. We may have, I guess, more hair, we should have a sharvish boss canter or we in the Shaska Gion. And Lee Jig Arthwado, who I uncle do, Mihalo Fari, who shag a galliv, lave lave stager, and all skull nagaliva. I guess we sacune a couple of shart in your one grusha in Tadeli, Tasha Lel, at the Tusha Chira or Tusha than Hondi, I guess galliv, I guess Hosha Kesha Meher Musumia, Lehija Horabon, Koruabona, I guess. So, I have a very good job. 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 I have a Agus Hannah Rashson Olskoil, Tashi Hon Bula Leshen Yinaloli, Paul McCotter, Ata Takair Kortek Olskol Nagalyeva, Le Star Etchaila Harintlesh, Agus Tashi Exul Gamor Le Foilamach, and will Enrod Fuin Slinya, nor Honak Shier Gofoil. Well, Hannah, you were very fortunate in that your grandfather and granduncle put together a very nice traditional genealogy which had lots and lots and lots of family lore and almost no records referred to. <laughs> so my task was to look for the documents okay. that enable us to be certain that mm. what we're looking at is a genuine accurate. happening mm. and accurate. I'm going to start with showing you our skeletal tree, the, the, the core tree. And you're there, obviously. Yeah. Okay, there's your father. Seamus, your grandfather, Danny, yeah? Yeah. Uh, his father, Donica. His father, John O'Donnell, alias Andalach Moore. I've heard a lot about Andalach Moore. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> Based on the, on the name for a, a, an ancient chieftain of the Tyr Connell, and is the son in turn, turn of another, John o, uh, O'Donnell. He is the successor to a Dennis O'Donnell, who's holding in 1857. This Dennis's relationship to John is unclear, uh, except that John succeeded Dennis in the early 1860s as the proprietor of the farm. Oh, okay. Because the written records no longer agree with the traditional verbal or oral oh, records. I see. So we have to um, try and sort out that, and we will we'll come to that in due course, okay? Yep. And this is the Census of Ireland for 1911. This is John. Uh, on Dalach Moore, John O'Donnell. Well, this, this tells you a lot about him and about his life. For instance, he was illiterate, he couldn't read, and he, he marks the census there with an X. Was that the norm at the time? Not really. Um, it wasn't quite that straightforward. The national schools were founded in 1838, but there were people who, were, who missed, who weren't caught or brought, or brought into the system for decades. So it could be quite common for people into, into the early 1900s to be illiterate. I see. And he's a farmer, and Margaret is his wife. Uh, Margaret can read, so John is illiterate and Margaret is not. We know from our next census record, we know more. And this one is the earlier census of 10 years before. Oh, it's, okay. it's, it's 1901, okay? And there's, a, there's more children because, of course, a lot of the children had reached adulthood by the time of 1911 and had left the home. Oh, I see, yeah. yeah. John cannot read and Margaret cannot read in this time. So Margaret has learned to read between the censuses of 1901 and 1911. Wow. On top of caring for her eight children. Eight children in the one house. Ten people in the one house. The parents as well. Two rooms. God, ten people. Between them all. Yes. No way. Yes. That was the, 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 the norm at the time in rural districts. Yeah, I don't know if I'd be up for that now. <laughs> Our next document 
is this one. This is on, on Dalach Moore's marriage certificate. Okay. It occurs in January 1879, marries Margaret Sweeney, who's aged 18. But the value of this document is that it gives you the father's name in each case. And the interesting thing is that he's son of another John O'Donnell. Okay, so this is on Dalla Moore? Yes. Okay. And this is where the traditional history deviates from the actual written word. So the final document we're going to look at is this one, and it's from uh, the Land Valuation, the Valuation Office. This map is taken from the map for the central part of Cashel Nagar. Okay, this here is that John O'Donnell's property. You can see Cashel Nagar there as a little, a little group of cottages. All right. Yeah. Now, this dates to 1857, so we have. 17A and we have 17B. Uh, so the two farms of the O'Donnells. Oh, okay. You can see there a little, a little figure A and a, and a black square and the A is a lowercase a as distinct from an uppercase a and the lowercase a is used to denote houses. That's your ancestral homestead. Oh, wow. That's the two-room cottage, thatched cottage. Wow, that's amazing. And we, we also know from the valuation office that this farm was owned by Dennis O'Donnell in 1857. And that, that, that Dennis O'Donnell passes on the farm, probably dies in the very early 1860s and passes on the farm to John O'Donnell and Dalloch's father. If this oh, okay. is getting any clearer now. <laughs> it then passes on, the farm passes on probably around the 1880s to Dalloch himself. Okay. Um, so basically, this is what we have for definite. It's 1857 as far as I have been able to go back to. There are other traditions recorded in your family tree right back to 1800. Some of them about the, um, the Glenvay evictions, um, the tie of the plotment books, which is the tax payable to the Protestant church. When I go and look for those, they're not there. So I'm not sure, I, I can't verify before 18. 57, okay. the accuracy of your family tree. So that's seven, gener is that seven generations? That's the seventh it? generation, wow. yeah. What do you think of all of that? Well, um, I visited Kashnagor quite a lot growing up, so it's very interesting that they have such a strong connection to it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Phil and Hannah Aaron Balia, Agus Inchian a Haharze Fui Nishanair, Agus an chúis go bhfuil siad ina gcónaí ar an siúl seo in iúl, agus a alsún ach féin faoi náid. In his life, when he, he arrived there, he might have been in his late thirties. So he ended up working in the Klondike for nine years, and he was very successful. I think they, they found gold pretty quickly, you know, and that allowed them to buy the machinery say for power washing the, all the, the soil out of the, the rock so that they would find the gold easier. So they worked really, really hard. Like that photograph there now, that's the wee cabin that they would have worked in and my grandfather is there and then there's his brother at the doorway. So they, they were there for nine years but it was, I'd say it was very, very, very tough. You can imagine the cold and the, the midges and the mosquitoes. And what made him come back home then? Well, he met, he met his future wife, who was originally from Gorda Hork, came back to Ireland to get married, and what the intention of going back to America again. So they came back and they had their ceremony, and what happened then, World War I started. Oh. So that just meant that the, it wasn't a safe place to cross the Atlantic. They decided to stay here and my grandfather bought this farm and then built the house that we're now in. So the house was completed in 1933. And so how were you so lucky to get the house then out of everyone? I was really lucky, all right. Um, no, I think what my dad just said at one stage, like whoever showed an interest in, in the farm and the house. And that's when you decided to do the garden then, is it? Well, I suppose I did my travels and 
This place was vacant anyway, there was nothing happening here. They had passed away, my grandparents had passed away. So at this part of the world there isn't many trees planted and that's basically how it all started. What can I do to help nature? So I started doing my research on what will grow in salt-laden wind situations. So it hasn't stopped since then and luckily I've been able to plant thousands of trees. If everyone were to do their they're small but for the planet, you know, even just by planting one tree, I think we would be in a far, far better place. You know, people do have to be responsible for what they leave behind. You know, like only that my grandfather left this to his son and he left it to me. You know, you have to accept responsibility to leave a better place for the next generation, you know. Le tishkin jnis fiarig hana er star a klinja agus a slinja. Tikin chika will quiv nun a stara, ho tavotoch kene le quiv nun a chimpelachta. Honi de hun al slam, don hied gloinele.